is about uh, bevel and other modeling techniques also some particle system and um, UV mapping and texturing so we'll be modeling a uh, coke soda pop can and it's um, uh, it's going to be in two parts so first we'll create the modeling and the texturing and then on part two we will do the uh, particle system where we're going to put um, uh, water beads and uh, some lighting and some background maybe a four-point lighting so all the rendering part will be in part two and part one will be uh, all modeling uh, first thing is that you need to secure some images and you can easily find these as uh, on in the uh, on the internet I have a sort of label right here you can use whatever I also have a uh, a reference photo for the uh, pop can um, and a tab all right uh, so get as many reference photos as you can I suggest also that you actually have a soda can with you so that you could actually see the detail and um, how all the um, lip and the lid right here kind of works because it um, it can get uh, kind of difficult to uh, to see sometimes in 3D because you're extruding way down into the uh, lip uh, valley inside and so on and so forth but if you have your own reference that would be the best way to go okay um, again this is a perfect uh, perspective shot of a soda can and they're using a, a not so long lens and you could see some distortion happening at the top and the bottom uh, a little bit at the bottom mostly at the top uh, and then we will have to compensate for that regarding that all right so I'm going to start a new scene and then uh, bring this uh, things over or I can just delete this actually all I need is this one all right so we're going to start with positioning this at the center of the world I'm going to press N so I can get my screencast on so you guys can see what I'm doing all right let me turn that on and off uh, let me see here sometimes it wants to be activated there we go now it's back um, go here sorry modeling all right and um, I'm gonna go to item while the background is selected and I'm going to click and drag so I get all three inputs press zero so this one is centered I'm not exactly sure if this is centered but it kind of looks like uh, we can kind of compensate for that okay so this is what we're going to be tracing so let's take a look first at um, the uh, the parts right here. So it looks like we got our kind of aluminum can portion right here. And we got some sloping right here, straight line down here and goes sloping down over here. The um, label going to get kind of get cut off right there. And then on the bottom, it kind of it's kind of like a, a concave right there uh, at the bottom and uh yeah we're not going to see that but we're still going to model that one all right and then there should be some sort of kind of like a little cylindrical leg right here where the base is so it kind of goes in a little bit like that all right so um we're going to need a cylinder for this and we're not going to be using subdivision surface for this one maybe just for the tab uh simply because it looked really crude without going high polygon so this is still kind of similar to the pokeball lesson where uh, we'll be using just smooth shade and um, and some uh, normal auto smooth normal so that um, it can run on any slow or decent machine of course there's the option to make it into high resolution by adding a subdivision surface with some modification where you need to keep the shape okay but this will be very similar to the Pokemon and it's a uh, Pokeball sorry and it will be a uh, low res high res low res kind of we're not going to be using modifier okay so let's start with uh, adding an object here a cylinder all right why cylinder well because it's already kind of like it okay so that I don't manipulate the uh, the uh, the cylinder here and displace it uh, I will select my um, uh, background here or my reference image I'm gonna scale it so it kind of matches the uh, the size of their cylinder right here okay so now I'm going to select the cylinder. All right, and then I'm going to go to my scale tool right here. So I'll be using some of the tools right here. So 
Um, keyboard shortcut is G, of course, but so that you can see which axis I'm grabbing and whatnot. So I'm going to go to Z axis. And I'm pretty much just going to go all the way straight right here. And I'm going to explain why we're doing it this way. I'm going to turn on X-ray also. Alt or Option Z is your uh, toggle for that. Okay. The reason why uh, we're doing that, I'm going to go to Move Tool here, move it up a bit is that to prepare your um, UV uh, mapping, your UV editing. Um, the way it works is that when you apply that photo uh, label, uh, Blender doesn't know. Uh, it just assumes this is still a cylinder and it will have that mapping. So if you um, ended up giving it some bevel or grooves and whatnot, when you unwrap that, you're going to need to do some extra work by um, a um, straightening things so we're gonna tackle this where we're going to apply the texture before we add on all the details okay all right so um, we also use the default cylinder let me go back here and just to show you I have another cylinder in there and then the opening right here which is the initial parameter uh, it's, it's got 32 vertices okay so let me get rid of that now right now, uh, right now and uh, and go back to this all right so um, we got the uh, initial uh, shape, and then we just need to add some more uh, uh, modeling to this, okay? So I'm going to t uh, turn off X-Ray. I'm going to go edit uh, edit mode, or hitting tab will do the same thing, okay? I'm going to rotate it a bit so I can make sure I'm selecting the top. So I'm going to go to uh, face mode, okay? Point, edge, and then face mode right here, or face selection one two three on your alphanumeric pad okay so i'm going to select this top one right here i'm going to go back to one which is the front viewport on my numpad all right i'm going to extrude it just one time right here it's going to create that lip right there i'm going to do the same thing for the bottom all right and then i'm going to extrude it like so i'm just going to leave it like so all right so that's our initial one and then now let's get to texturing and shading this. Okay, I'm going to hit tab, go to object mode. Okay, I'm going to go to the shading tab. All right. And uh, we will create a texture for the can. So I'm going to go to the shading tab on this one right here. I'm going to click new. So we're going to need two materials for this. Uh, I'm going to click new right there, plus and then new. Uh, we're going to call this one, this is the aluminum. All right, that's the aluminum. Uh, and then this one will be the label. All right, and we're going to apply the aluminum to this one, of course. This will be metallic. All right, it's faceted right now. We'll just leave it like so. Um, and then the label, all right? So the label for this one, uh, we will select the part that's supposed to be labeled. So all these faces right here. So I'm gonna press number three on my selection. And then, then I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt and then click this vertical line right here that does a loop select. So it selected the entire thing going all the way around minus the ones that I'm avoiding, okay? So this will be the label. So I'm gonna go here select on the label and then assign all right uh, just for the sake of uh, showing you there you go I'm gonna make it red so that we know for sure that that's this has uh, everything to do with manipulating the label right here this will be metallic as well then we'll worry about the roughness and not later on okay so now uh, while this label is selected right here uh, we're going to add our label uh, and that will be in my download so it's actually faster if I just grab it from my finder and drag it here you could do the same thing okay by dragging it in here you basically created um, an image texture node open navigate find the coke so on and so forth all right so by dragging you save time and you don't have to do any of that or if you can uh, navigate here to your downloads you can also drag it from your browser over here. Okay, so that simply gets plugged into the base color. All right, and there it is. And then Blender, you know, it still thinks it's cylinder, so it just basically applied it like so. Okay, so I'm gonna click uh, tab here to go to object mode. 
and then I'm going to do something to my object. I'm going to apply the scale since I did scale this. That's a remi uh, that's basically telling Blender, hey, it's no longer the original cylinder. You have to take it into account now that this is the shape. So basically, that's what that is. All right. Next, we're going to go to UV editing. All right, UV editing. All right. So if I select A right here, if I press A, and I need to turn on my screencast on this area also. All right, so it selects everything and you get to see how Blender um, is unwrapping this object. OK, so think of it like a um, paper craft where you have to break down an object flat. So then you can uh, do a cutout and put it back together to make a 3D shape. OK, so the top and the bottom is designated by that one and that. All right. I'm going to click on my link right here so you get to see everything without me clicking anything in here. I'm also going to click on preview mode, which is the third sphere at the top right, so we get to see what's happening with our label. Keep in mind, there's two uh, materials here, right? So when I select on this area right here, it basically gives me the Coke um, portion of it. Okay, this is not affected because we already assigned just the aluminum for that, so it's not going to show. However, as you can see here, if I press G to move this, wherever this is positioned here, it's corresponding to the to the uh, model on the right. Okay, so all I have to do here is make sure I'm in point mode. Okay, I'm going to select all the points here, so make sure you don't select any parts of the uh, sphere, which I did. Okay, I'm just going to go carefully select that. All right. Oh, I'm in link mode, so I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to unlink. I'm going to link right there. So that, uh, all right, now I'm going to select right here. See, so again, that's the link uh, UV sync mode. Okay. And I'm going to go grab or um, let's do it right here. So you actually see the tool and then the Y axis going down. It's why up. It looks like it's up and down. It's actually not up, up and down. You're looking at it like uh, on a tabletop, so that's why Z is still up. Okay, so there you go. So now the uh, aspect ratio looks correct. Okay, however, if we want um, certain positions for this, so let's say I want that to be the front, and it happens to be the front. Okay, or you know this is where the seam would be. You could actually um, designate that. Right. So one way to do it is to force Blender to actually position this as if you are uh, unwrapping it. Okay, it would just happen to work because it's a cylinder object, and we didn't mess with the uh, with the shape other than doing cuts right here, making it taller. All right, but this is what we actually need to do uh, in case uh, uh, you need to go specific where you want the seam of the label. The seam of the label basically it's uh, I mean on an aluminum can it's a uh, there's still a cut, you know, it's designated by kind of a little, uh, looks like like a little overlap with a, uh, where this one meets on the other side, basically. All right. More obvious than, let's say, Campbell's soup, where it's a paper label, so where it actually connects. All right. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to edge mode or number two. I'm going to alt click this so it selects it all the way around. Okay. And then I'm going to pan right here, which is a middle click drag. And then I'm going to zoom in a bit. Keep in mind, I still have the selection at the top. I'm going to click Shift and Alt and click this. So both of those rings are basically selected. If you want to see what that looks like in wireframe mode, there they are. Okay. And what I need to do here is uh, go to my front, which is number one. If I click on Control N1, it shows the back. All right. So now I'm going to grab the middle. I think this is the middle here, right here. I'm going to shift click that only. So now it looks like I have a cutout of the label. You see it? All right. So the trademark and trademark, trademark, trademark right there. You see it? I mean, it works perfectly because it's a cylinder. All right. But we'll do it this anyway because it's the correct way. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to mark this as the seam. Okay. So when you mark it as a seam, all right, that's where it's um, going to position it. All right, so now if we, let's say it didn't work on yours because it wasn't a cylinder or anything like that, then you have to unwrap it. So let's unwrap this. So I'm going to 
select all that so option click one of them and then since it knows now where the seam will be I'm gonna press U unwrap there it is okay so now we still got to do something with this because it's um, it unwrapped it uh, and it didn't think it's a cylinder anymore um, we're gonna have to rotate this um, scale it then position it basically what it was before okay so only do that when you have an irregular shape object and you need to um, uh, you need to conform to the texture all right but we didn't have to do any of that so I'm gonna click undo simply because uh, we started with a very basic shape we didn't mess with this shape we didn't curve anything it still thinks it's a cylinder and it works okay so that's the advantage of just making it simple like this and leaving it alone all right so now we're done with the texture okay so let's go uh, back to modeling I'm gonna go to preview mode I'm gonna click on x-ray mode right here so we could see uh, sorry uh, go to a solid mode then x-ray mode all right here we go so now uh, what I can do here is basically uh, start creating some control R uh, which is an edge loop cut this is the tool right here loop cut okay keyboard shortcut is control R so if I do control R and land it on one of these vertical lines I get a horizontal cut okay if I scroll down my mouse I can get multiple of these but we just want to work with one I'm gonna left mouse click it and then uh, proceed from there but I'll cancel this one because I need to make sure my uh, screencast is working folks all right there we go all right so control R left click and then it wants it's asking you where you want to position we want to position it right here okay slightly above that so that we can get that bevel pretty nicely over there okay all right, so um, we're now going to uh, go to point mode or vertex mode. Select all this vertice here. And if I scale this, okay, it's going to scale it like so. We're just kind of following the, uh, the top of that. Maybe we need to lower it just a bit. All right, something like that. And then maybe actually uh, scale it a little bit more it needs to be as wide as that one maybe make this lip a little bit higher all right okay so that will do that um, now let's uh, some bevel on this one so we can get that curvature right there and then we still need to add a one more right here to kind of get the uh, to get that kind of a little bit of straight and then slopes down okay so I'm gonna press number two to go to edge mode select all this I'll click it so it selects it all the way around and then I'm going to uh, uh, let me make sure first uh, that this thing is um, applied to scale so that because if you have issues with bevel that's most likely 99.9% .9 of the problem right there it uh, didn't conform to the new scale object all right so I'm gonna right click it and then bevel and I'm gonna drag my mouse you can see here it's uh, giving me like a an option where to start the bevel and where to kind of stop it all right right there is fine okay and then we can add the segments like so so you get that curvature but we're missing out on this part right here because it went way out because I need to create the cut here first so let me click undo that's my mistake okay let me make sure that we didn't uh, all right so I need to create the cut right here and then before actually I went too much undo let me redo all right right here so I need to create a cut right here control R okay click left click and then move it up a bit right there and then scale this all right so there you go I'm gonna probably select the whole thing right here and then scale it a little bit all right so now once we conform this then you'll have the uh, option to bevel it here and over here right so I'm gonna go back to my previous selection here um, because I click undo so I want to make sure that that thing is applied again I don't know if I hit it or not but uh, just want to make sure so right click bevel bevel it like so all right uh, that's not so bad right there keep in mind we're also dealing with distortion and whatnot 
So, um, and then uh, we're going to open up our bevel, which is already open, and then it will ask you how many segments. So by default, there is one, okay? And then for our purpose, I think uh, how uh, smooth we want it. Maybe four or five would do, okay? So that it's, uh, you know, so it would look nice. Um, okay, that's probably fine right there. I'm going to select this now. Okay, right-click and bevel. All right, right there. Probably that's too much because that's a smaller one. So I'm just going to go with four on that one. Okay, so now let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look real quick. All right, there's the uh, there's our object right there. All right, as you can see, uh, we didn't have to worry about messing with the UV. It just added that. If I go right here, it's just all added into the uh, all that cut. All right, we didn't have to do any adjustments. All right, so let's now um, fix the bottom. Then we'll go back to the top. So I'm going to go back to my modeling. Press number one right here. I'm also going to save this so in case I crash. All right, let's save that. All right, so here, uh, let's take a look. So solid mode, x-ray. And we're going to do the same thing here. All right, so the um, I'm going to go to number one, select the bottom right here, and then scale this so it starts to kind of taper like so. All right. And for this one, uh, we will need to uh, bevel this. Uh, we probably have to uh, move this up just a little bit. Okay. Let me see how that's affecting the a little bit affected there with the uh, with the compression. So let me see. Let me just check. All right, it's still uh, it's within range. We're okay with that one. All right, let's take a look here, and then we need another one uh, down here. Um, Actually, this one has a little bit of bleed right here, but uh, the Coke actually has none of that. So it kind of stops right here. So, well, let's not follow this. I think this is just something they colored when they made this uh, this picture that I happened to pick. All right. So control R right here and position it a little bit over here. Okay. And then scale. So that will give us that kind of look right there. All right. And now let's uh, do number two. Select all this, bevel the edge. All right, so I'll probably go with, let me see how much beveling on that. Not, not a whole lot, so probably like that was fine. Okay, might need to go just three right there. Let's go over here. Right click and bevel this. Okay, all right. That will work. Okay, and as far as the reference go, I think we're fine. We don't need it anymore. Uh, we can we can definitely uh, compensate for that. We can see what's going on over there. So, all right. So I'm gonna go select the uh, reference photo and delete it. We can just work on this now. Okay. I'm also gonna right click this and um, shade smooth it so it's pretty smooth. And we're gonna go with our normal with our data object tab right here object data tab and then auto smooth okay so anything that's supposed to be kind of sharp looking will remain sharp okay so i'm basing this on an actual sort of can that i'm actually holding right now okay and um i'm gonna go tab i'm gonna go to um face uh, selection and i'm gonna do inset faces so it's this one right here. Keyboard shortcut is I. I'm going to press I. And then drag my mouse. That creates that little leg that we have right there. And it looks like it has some sort of beveling also. So we'll bevel those after. And then now this one needs to be extruded up. So I'm going to press E and go up. But if you take a look at it, uh, it's actually... Uh, it went straight up to here 
and then it bevels and then it goes in again so right here I'm gonna press I so I'm gonna get that portion right there and then I'm gonna press G oh I don't need to I have my move tool in here so I'm gonna move that up a bit so it kinda of goes inside up like so alright let's add those bevels so I'm going to select that I'll click that ring this ring that one and that one let's see uh, being lazy if it'll pay off okay maybe I should not do this all at the same time because we want different results from them definitely not this one so I'm gonna undo that okay maybe this three will be fine bevel all right maybe we can get away with I think three is fine all right, that's, that looks good. So now let's do this one. Bevel. Now we want, there we go, a lot of that because we want that kind of curving in. All right. All right, so let's take a look. We'll never appreciate it, not unless you tip this over and then look at it, but uh, it's right there. Okay, I'm going to save. Now let's work on the top. Okay, so for the lip, uh, I might have gotten uh, uh, too aggressive on the height on this one. I think we can lower this a bit. I'm going to select that and just lower that by, by a bit right there. Okay, so let's first create the lip right here. So I will need um, uh, press I. Okay, this one is super thin and then it goes in maybe not that thin let me see okay then it goes extrude going down it stops right here and you need to scale this a bit so that it it has kind of like a a little slope okay and then it goes down again into that valley where it catches the soda uh, actually no it doesn't it, it has a little bit of a slope again so I'm gonna press I here it goes like that just a bit and it goes lower a bit so it's another dip then this one goes low so I'm gonna press E so this is where the uh, soda catch I don't know how far that goes I'm just kinda eyeballing it but I think that's fine and it's angled a little bit also so I'm gonna scale it by hair right there there you go and then the valley itself so for the valley we need to press I again so we get that little valley right there and then we're going to extrude this so it goes up it goes up like so not as almost as high as that ledge right there Let's see, it may go up. And we need to scale this a bit so it goes in. I think that's fine right there. And we just need to bevel that. And I'm going to press another I right here to make sure that's secured right there. All right, there we go. So now let's work on the bevel. Maybe that's a little too much right here, but uh, yeah, it's fine. All right, so let's uh, let's work on the bevel. So I'm going to add a control R right here. And let's add another one right here. Keep in mind, I'm just kind of eyeballing those two. So I'm going to select both. All right, and then I'm going to scale these in the front viewport so I don't have to worry about the Z axis activating. Okay, so I'm going to press S. There we go. So just a by a hair right there, so it, we get that kind of lip part. And um, maybe I need them kind of lower, so I'm going to go scale tool, Z axis here, kind of the lower sticker than the upper one. Let me move it just by a hair. All right. So it's pretty sharp looking. Um, let's go bevel it. there you go so now that kind of looks like it let's uh 
start beveling here. That one. And what else? This one. All right, so right click and bevel. And I think that'll do it. Okay. So that's the uh, top, and we need to create the tab uh, on its own. So we probably could save that for. Uh, let's do three parts. So the tab will do part two and then all the rendering and particle systems will be on part three. So I'm going to end this video here.